today's video is about all the jobs available in the UK. I'll be explaining the UK shortage occupation list in details. We'll be going through all the occupations that are on that list together. I'll also be telling you the benefits of having your occupation on that list and also what to do if your occupation is on the list to increase your chances of getting a sponsored job in the UK. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tochi if you're new here. If you're seeing me for the first time, hello, you're welcome. Please consider subscribing to my channel and I assure you that you won't regret it because I share things that you would definitely love. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back, for always watching my videos. I really appreciate. Some of you might have heard about the UK shortage occupation list, but don't really understand what it's all about. Hence the questions I've been getting about the UK shortage occupation list. People have been asking me, is my occupation on that list? What do I do? In fact, I've gotten lots of questions on that and that is why I'm making this video to explain it better for your understanding. But before then, I must put it out there that I am not an immigration lawyer. I'm not a professional advisor in any way. Whatever you hear me say is based on my experience and my research. So feel free to verify whatever information you hear me say on this channel, okay? And if you need any professional advice, please do well to get one. So many jobs are in high demand in the UK and yet there's not enough manpower within the UK to fill up those jobs. For instance, it is said that there are over 29,000 nursing vacancies in the UK and yet there are not enough nurses in the UK to fill up those vacancies. Even in the engineering sector, right, it is also said that in the next two to three years, the UK will be needing about 200,000 engineers to fill up the engineering vacancies that they have in the UK across all engineering fields. You would also notice that the UK also needs teachers badly, like the demand for teachers in the UK is really high. Yes, the UK introduced the skilled worker visa where people across all sectors with different skills can come into the UK to work because there's currently shortage of manpower in the UK, you know, within those fields. So the UK has created a shortage occupation list that helps them, you know, bring in people from outside the UK to work in the UK. Normally when there's shortage, right, it simply means that something is not complete. So for instance, let's say a company needs about 10 people to work for them. And at the moment they just have probably four or even five staff. They are in shortage. So you see that they're not doing you any favor because they really need you to come take up those roles and fill up those vacancies. So if your occupation is on this list, it means that you are at advantage. You are even one step towards coming to the UK to work. We know that the UK operates a point-based system and if your occupation is on the UK shortage occupation list, you have 20 points already out of the existing seven points that they need for you to get a skilled worker visa to come to the UK to work. Also, having your occupation on this list lowers the salary threshold for you. Of course, you know that the minimum salary you're expected to earn on a skilled worker visa is £25,000 per annum. Also, having your occupation on this list lowers your visa fee. So yes, you need to meet the 70 points requirement to be qualified for a skilled worker visa in the UK. If you get a job offer, it's 20 points. You have the English language proficiency, it's 10 points. You have a job on a skilled level, it's 20 20 points and then your job being on the shortage occupation list is 20 points automatically. These are some of the advantages of having your occupation on that list. If your occupation is not on the list, don't worry, you can get experience because UK is very keen on experience. So you can get the experience in your field, gather lots of experiences, take courses that will also help you in your field as well and then feel free to apply for any job vacancy that you see. There are lots of occupations on this list if, remember that the list is a lot so I might not be able to cover everything on the list so feel free to cross check them on your own okay after watching this video so let's just get to it quickly so I have my notes here in case you see me looking down just so I'm looking into my notes because the list is a lot so here we have job types included on the shortage occupation list and areas of the UK where there is a shortage all right the first on the list is medical practitioners all jobs including psychology
radiologists, pharmacists, radiographers, in fact, all medical practitioners, just name it, they are all on the UK shortage occupation list. Just the way I mentioned earlier that nurses are in shortage in the UK, that's the way other occupations in the medical fields are in shortage in the UK as well. So here there's medical radiographers, health professionals, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, speech and language therapists, and nurses, just like I mentioned earlier. So if you fall under this category, if you're a medical practitioner, just know that your occupation is on the UK shortage occupation list. So moving on also, we have secondary school teachers. Guys, the UK is said to be in demand for teachers. Like there is shortage of teachers in the UK. The UK is really in need of teachers. Secondary school teachers, nursery, primary, even university lecturers are needed in the UK. So if this is your area of interest or this is your area of specialization, please feel free to put in your application. Like you know, I have a video up on my channel of how to become a teacher in the UK. So do well to watch that video because it might really help you. I'm going to leave the link to that video in the description box. Also on that list, we have social workers, paramedics, nursing auxiliaries and assistants. And then there's health services and public health managers and directors. We also have residential care managers as well. And then moving on, there's chemical scientists, biological scientists, physical scientists as well. Physical scientists in the oil and gas industry, geologists, geoscientists, geochemists, and so on and so forth. There's also social and humanities scientists on that list. And then we have engineers. Guys, all areas of engineering are covered on this list. Like, like I said earlier when I said this video, the UK is in shortage of engineers and the demand for engineers in the UK is really high. So if you're an engineer, what are you waiting for? No matter your field, whether you're a civil engineer, electronics engineer, mechanical engineer, whatever sector of engineering that you belong to, you are in demand in the UK. Like the UK is waiting for you to just put in your application and come and work in the UK. Of course, there's IT business analysts. In fact, all fields and areas of IT that you can think of are on this list. Programmers, software developers, web designers. In fact, name it, all the areas of IT are on this list. Guys, IT is a booming field. I have a video on how to begin a career in IT. Even if you don't have a computer science background, do well to see that video. It's really going to help you. Economics and statisticians are also on that list list and then you have veterinary jobs as well would we'll also find laboratory technicians on the list and dancers dancers musicians choreographers are all on the list you also have art officers producers and directors and then of course there's care workers on the list as well care work was recently added to the list and that's what everybody is talking about and we all forgot that you can actually come to the uk and work in your field you don't have to limit yourself to just the care work you can come to the UK and work as a lab technician you can come to the UK and work as an economist as a statistician okay you can come and work as an engineer as an IT professional as a nurse as a doctor as a radiographer you can come to the UK and work as a teacher as a musician as a choreographer just like we've seen on the list right the list goes on and on feel free to double check cross check the list it's on the UK official government website at gov.uk just type the uk shortage occupation list you're going to see all the occupations that are on that list and for that occupation to be on that list in the first place it means that there is shortage of that occupation in the uk if your occupation is on this list then you have a high chance of getting a sponsored job in the uk all you have to do is put your cv together make it as professional as possible put all your experiences together and then apply look out for sponsored jobs and apply in my next video, I'm going to put up websites where you can get sponsored jobs, right? So please watch out for that video. That is why you should turn on your notification bells. So when I post that video or any video at all, you'll be notified. And then there's senior care workers on the list as well. But yeah, I think we've come to the end of this video. If you have any question for me or you have any video idea for me, you want me to make a video on any topic, please feel free to leave it in the comment section, all right? Share this video so everyone can benefit from it because they have a lot to gain feel free to join my telegram community because there is a lot going on there you have a lot to gain just by joining that group thank you so much for watching if you've watched to this point please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you haven't at this point i don't even know like 
what are you still waiting for click on that subscribe button it's very free and it's easy thank you so much for watching once again follow me on social media all my handles are in the description box leave a comment for me in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye